<laughs> the mic was off. Is that my phone? Yeah, that's my phone. Yeah, so, um, I guess be before I start, I'll just uh, give a, a little rundown of the game and a, a, a quick, a brief, I'll keep it brief, history of the game. Uh, if you don't know, this is Wave Race's uh, marathon debut here in the United States. Woo! So, it has never, it's never been played in a marathon in this continent, on this continent. It has been played at ESA a couple of times, and I think that's it. A couple of NLG minis over there, but uh, nothing serious. In fact, this will be the first marathon run of all championships, which you should name the... the there, <clears throat> oh, and an interesting thing about that world record, uh, when I submitted for this marathon, my world record was 52 minutes, 52 seconds, and the video I submitted was that, and uh, since then I have shaved 52, no, 54 seconds off of that, so we're down to 51, 58, and that was just accomplished last night off of, <laughs> no, no recording, no recording or anything of that. I have a witness, and that's it. That's a. So I. Uh, hopefully the run goes well because I did <laughs> I did practice. Um, basically, I started playing this game in about 2012. When I was when I was starting, the world champion was Illu Dude, and uh, he's one of the top GoldenEye players in the world as well. He, uh, we have a lot of competition in this game. Not a lot of players, but a lot of competition. Uh, so we've got a top 10 GoldenEye player from TheElite.net. If anybody has heard of that website, uh, that is the GoldenEye speedrunning website. And uh, amazing gamers on that website. World class, all around. And uh, many shout outs to the streamers from The Elite who support me, like Birdie88, Scorpion, Dude himself, Ryan Lockwood, you guys may have heard of him. Um, he's actually a Wave Race player as well. He's uh, currently, I think we have him ranked number four. So, yeah, pretty solid, and he's put in probably around 100 hours on just Sunny Beach alone. And uh, he's got the second place time, but we do have a nickname for Sunny Beach, and that is Shibby Beach. Yep. I, uh, I, that, yeah, I, I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh... <clears throat> Uh, mo the, the way that this game is primarily played is individual level style with many, many resets, like thousands of resets before you get a time that you're going for. But this run is going to be all levels, all 29 levels in the game. It, there's only 8 levels in the game, but we start with normal mode, which only has 6. Three, then we do hard mode, two, which has 7. One. Then we do reverse that has 8, or no, we do expert that has 8, and then reverse that has another 8. So. Add that up, and I believe you get 29. I mean, somebody want to check my math on that? And uh, some are harder than others, but I don't think that the difficulty really has much to do with their difficulty. It's more or less just different when you do a course on normal from hard and expert. And reverse is usually its own category. Like in time trial, we just have reverse as its own. But the run itself just really it has consistency more than anything. And there's a couple of tricks that I hope to showcase that are ridiculously hard to do. And I, I'm really, you know, a little nervous about some of them, but I've practiced, so I, you know, let's hope for the best. Just, yeah, I'll just do what I, I'll just do what I did last night exactly. Get the world record, no problem. And uh, <laughs> and we were thinking about making the estimate like less than the world record was, so that I could be forced to. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we were thinking about it, but uh, I, I don't. I don't think we're gonna do that. Just, just in case, you know. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I did not talk about the version. Uh, we have three released versions of this game that we play on, uh, not including PAL. PAL is a special case because of its slow frame rate and its slow gameplay. But this particular version is not the original release. This. This is a Japanese-only release of uh, of the game. It was released in 1997 after the, the Rumble Pack was released for the N64. Uh, the title of this game is actually Wave Ray 64 Shindo, and it's the uh, Rumble Pack-supported version. And there's actually a Mar Super Mario 64 version like this as well that supports Rumble Pack because these games were release titles or launch titles, and of course they didn't come with Rumble Pack support. So Nintendo. 
you know, revamped them a little bit, and there's not a whole lot of differences. There's some audio differences, like uh, announcers, uh, the uh, music is changed in some of the levels, and the biggest thing that I think about this level, two things, well, one of them I'll mention in a little while after I do one of the difficulties, but the biggest thing for me is in time trial, you can race against your ghost, which is in the form of a dolphin. Which is pretty unique, because in Mario Kart, you just see, like, your see-through character. But in this game, no, we're, we're racing against a dolphin. And this is a beastly dolphin that can apparently swim 129 kilometers per hour. I don't know of any dolphins that can... Which I don't know exactly, but I think that's over 70 miles an hour. So, good luck with that, dolphin. Yeah, so... You'll, you'll also notice I, I'm, I'm going to use the uh, the fat character in this game. He is uh, His name is David Mariner. I'll, I'll go in and show the names really quick. I've actually nicknamed all the characters in this game previous to this run. Hayate, he's one of the top three Wave Race players. Lockwood, of course, we all know him. Uh, Illu Dude is another one of the top three. And then, uh, you know, name him. So, <coughs> so that's... Uh, I guess that's that's really all I have to say to start the stream. Uh, okay, so when when I'm counting when the announcer is counting down to start each level, that's when I ask for silence because it's really important that I get maximum power, and I do that by hitting the gas before or right during the clock start before it hits one tenth of a second. So I have to go, I have to hit a between go and one tenth of a second on the game timer on each course. And if I don't get it, I get like a power up and like usually four out of five power bars and it's a little bit slow, but it's not, it's not run ending by any means, but uh, it will save me about a half second on each level that I get maximum power. So during the countdowns, I'm sorry, but no three, two, one hypes this time, please. But uh, if the timer is ready to start, I think that we can go. And uh, I will start the run, we'll start the timer at the same time as I hit the reset button on the N64. So I'll say 3, 2, 1, and on go. How about? So, 3, 2, 1, go. Alright. Wave race hype. Starts on reset. And I'll, I'll mash a lot between cutscenes, and if it sounds like I'm mashing slow, be weary that I'm mashing with two buttons, Z and A. So good, we got that first max power, which is a lot of times a problem for me. So I mean, this this course is it, it seems really simple. I'm I'm pretty much just going around a big ellipse or oval, and uh, just going in between the buoys here. Looks really simple. Actually, there's a lot to this level, and it mostly involves the waves that I'm going over. I'm reacting to every wave that I go over and controlling the bob of my character by t pushing the B button over and over again. You'll probably see me mashing B a lot. It's not really a mash as much as it is, as much as it is like a controlled uh, press to try to get myself to stop bobbing so much because you can keep speed a lot easier if you're leveled out better. Like if I if I don't mash B, I'll be bobbing like crazy. I don't really want to touch the sand there, but that's okay. Not a big deal. The RNG in this does not end with the waves, either. The uh, computer AI can be a huge pain in this, especially in the later difficulties when they're faster and they can keep up a little bit better. Now, the announcers are English only, which is weird, right? I and mean, we have a lot of English text in this. Welcome to San... There's a... Hold on. <laughs> ah, there is a... Uh, <clears throat> there's eight levels in this game. Six of them on normal, like I was saying. Uh, each level has three categories of records. It has time trial... Well, they're all time trial. One lap, three lap, and reverse. We don't do three lap reverse, or one lap reverse, just three. Because the game saves only those those times. It does not keep track of one lap or um, And I'll toot my horn a little bit while I'm on stream and say of the you know, three times eight, and three records on each course, of those 24 records, I have 22 of the world records. 
It's taken it's taken a lot of it's taken a lot of work. <laughs> the other two are Drake Lake three lap and Drake Lake one lap. And uh Illu Dude himself is a absolute beast on that those level that level. Okay, I'm gonna skip outside of bounds here just to get to the finish line a little quicker. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> you can miss up to four buoys. If you miss a fifth one, you retire. And this is a no retire run, so hopefully hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, this is Drake Lake, the level that I hate. We have a I <laughs> Oh yeah, that max out. So hopefully I do that like twenty six more times. <laughs> That turn right there that I just did was actually one of the hardest in the game to learn. But once I know it, I, I don't mess it up very often, but actually in a practice run yesterday I messed it up a little bit, so... Oh crap. I know. I got those nerves out of my system yesterday. Get all the mistakes out of the way before today. That's the goal. Now, and of course, in a uh, RTA run like this, you are not going to see anything close to a world record on a single course. Like, a single, an individual level world record would be... Just absolutely unrealistic in an RTA run. Until I get it. Until today, when I get it. <laughs> once, I, once I get it today. Plus is actually... Yeah, but that's plus That's plus for them, though. That, that's the plus for them. The splits in this game, they show up in time trial, and they'll be minus if you're ahead. And Ooh, get out of my way! I just went underneath her. A little bit weird. I don't know if you can drive a jet ski underneath someone else who's driving a jet ski. Okay. This next level is Marine Fortress, and another 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 little horn tooting that I can do here is that this is my biggest world record in the game. I have a 108 and second place is a 110. That's a pretty big gap in this game. You guys are so supportive, I love it. Okay, in this level, there's a uh, there's a ridiculous. I was mentioning a, one of the really ridiculous tricks of this game. There's two paths in this level. One is uh, this way that I'm gonna go, and uh, you'll see the second path on the on the next lap, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, when I started to learn this trick that I'm going to try, it was uh, less than one in ten success rate, and uh, I have. Up to that success rate quite a bit, but uh, it's still a pretty nerve-wracking trick. And let's see if I can. Do it. I'm not gonna do it this time, okay? But you know what? It's not a big deal because there is a couple of other opportunities on this level to do it. Well, I'm, I'm, the object would be to go under it, and uh, it's a. Uh, I'll check. What, where the cycle is on lap 3. There's a chance I can get it on lap 3, but it's usually not it's usually not worth going for. I go out of bounds there to like reset the cycle, but it's a it's a little bit late anyway, so I'm not going to go for it. If uh if you miss max power, it's only about a half of a second penalty. But yeah, if I miss max power a lot, yeah, it adds up pretty quick. <laughs> so uh, another thing about David Mariner, the racer that I am, he's the only character in this game that has a butt patch. I, not sure, not sure what the point of the butt patch is, but yeah, he has it. We got another max power, so I guess like one for five so far, or I only missed one out of five. He does have two costumes. I'm, I'm using his uh, costume. I'm using his alternate right now. I, this is my preference. I will show you guys that Marine Fortress dive, by the way, the shortcut. I'm confident that I'll get it on one of the next difficulties. It's actually the hardest to get on normal mode because the shortcut doesn't open up on the other laps. So you have to do it on, like, I, don't know, I have a system worked out where it usually works on lap two, 
But it didn't work this time. It's a uh, marathon nerves, I think. No, no biggie. Also, I'm using a uh, not the default camera angle. I'm using the over the head camera angle. It lets me see in front of me quite a bit better, and it lets me see the line that I'm taking. The most important part about this camera angle is that I can see the very tip of the jet ski. That's important because you see how he's leaning. How I'm leaning is not really as important as like where the front of the jet ski is pointed. And uh, I will lap her probably every time. She is the slowest racer. In the I don't know. I this having her be so slow in a game in 2015 wouldn't fly. You know the feminist movement. But this was made in this was this came out in 1996 and 1997. And I guess back then girls just weren't cool like they are now. They they just weren't as cool back then. And actually, I gotta say, like Southern Island, Southern Island is the hardest one to get max power on because it has some lag issue. Like there's a little bit of uh, hesitation in the countdown because of lag, so it's harder to get max power on this stage. The timer will slow with the game, so unlike Goldeneye, where the timer is on a separate plane, uh, lag won't affect your time on the in-game timer on this game. But of course, real time. Yeah, uh, so the whale appears if you've gotten only, only first place so far on this level. And also, you may see a uh, Fanta ad here, and that was not, that was not in the original release. That would have been a Kawasaki ad, I think, in uh, in the original. Fanta, yeah. Well, uh, you know, Fanta, delicious orange soda, especially. Um, I, I <laughs> yeah. So the the you know Fanta. Yeah, if they released this today, they would probably have a Diet Fanta ad, sadly. So, uh, in in the name of Fanta, I, I brought everybody a little treat. Here, you want to hand these out to people? Watch out the... You get a Fanta! You get a Fanta! And uh, another thing... So considering that this is a no reset, no retire run, we have to watch the, all the trophy cutscenes, and that's not a bad thing. They only last like a minute, and here's another Fanta ad, by the way. Um, each trophy cutscene is slightly different, and I wonder if you guys know the differences or can tell the differences. I'll give you a hint. Notice, I got first, but not good enough to get a trophy. You don't get a trophy unless... Oh, and there's the butt patch, by the way. Uh, that's the butt patch I was talking about. It's amazing that the girl made the podium. Because she's just so slow in this game. Splashdown? The main characters are becoming girls. That's good. That's very good. Good thing my Japanese text reading is sharp. <laughs> yeah. So now we are on hard. Now we are on hard mode. It's it's like I said. It's not really that much harder. It's just different. The the thing about hard that makes it hard is that. Hold on. Okay. The thing about hard mode that makes it hard is that this is a category that we did not play until like last year. We started playing hard mode last year. It was like unknown to us speedrunners. And uh, one time, I, I remember challenging Illu to a race on hard mode, Illu dude, and he said, word for word, I don't like hard mode, I don't know what happens there. He doesn't like it hard. <laughs> he does, so he doesn't like it hard. No, but he had the expert world record, the expert championship world record for years until this year. It was like last month I finally claimed it. Yeah, he, but he is arguably, I mean, overall at the game, he was probably more consistent than me. It's, they just don't know what's coming.
Yeah, 104 is pretty good there. I have gotten a couple of 103s on this level, but they're just really tight to get. And risky. You finished first and got move on to the next. So speaking speaking of Fanta, uh, this I'm pretty sure that this water here is Fanta. I'm pretty sure that this water is Fanta, but uh, I also want to point out that uh, I've missed max power on this level both times so far. It's a uh, it's got to be the water. It's that Fanta distraction. Actually, when I was a kid, I thought that this when I was a kid, I thought this level had Sunny Delight water. That's what I thought. You, uh, you power down, there's no time penalty, but powering down costs time, of course. I'm going to get this buoy on this lap, actually, because it will help me be able to do the sweet shortcut again at the end. Because, again, I can't miss more than four buoys, and that shortcut costs two buoy misses. So, and I'm going to miss another buoy on the third lap, so I'll miss one on the first lap, none on the second lap, and three on the third lap. All right, and here's my uh, swag shortcut. <laughs> yeah, I mean, other than that little mishap on Marine Fortress and normal, this has been going okay. So, so Drake Lake, Drake Lake hard mode. The buoys are just in slightly tighter to each other, and uh, I have to go through the log section a little bit differently. Oh, there we go, max power. I think as long as I get like a majority of the max powers, we'll be okay. I needed a power nap today, and I called it a max power nap. <laughs> Here's uh, one of the tight buoy sections. It's just like a slalom. It's kind of tough. And then this part is quite a bit different right here from the other difficulties. I have to go well, like this. I have never been to the what river fest? About seven Okay. Yeah. So final lap. I actually do. I found a little trick on this last lap to help me save like half a second at the end. Again, uh, you can miss up to four buoys without retiring. And uh, I say, you know what, it costs... Ooh, shoot! <laughs> oh man, that was so risky. It costs too much time to go get that buoy, so I'm just gonna go to the finish line. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's some delicious Fanta right here. So we're back on Marine Fortress now, and I really want to get that shortcut. Can I, have, can I have a little quick piece? Okay. So, uh... The, the way that the wave cycle works in this, it's impossible to get underneath the wall normally. So I, I figured out it costs about this much time to go around this sign. Oh yeah! And uh, on the future laps, from now on, uh, laps two and three, that shortcut actually opens up, so I don't need to go underneath that wall. It's it's just going to be open for me to go under. It's going to be scary, because I could drive right up to it before it opens, but have some faith. Have some faith. Cross your fingers. Oh, there we go. See? <laughs> So I'm glad I got to show you that at least once, because that's... That's really hard. You're, I'm, I'm actually using the mechanics of the water to do that. Uh, there's a diving mechanic that is put in the game on purpose that you're really only supposed to be able to do off of a ramp. But the way that the waves work, like, I can get just enough height, just enough height off of a ramp to be able to go underneath. Yeah. I know, 114. I say any 114 is the goal time on that difficulty, and a very low 114 is great. That's a great time on that level. Poor Blue, okay, on this level, uh, 
it's different than hard or different than the other difficulty because a different path is opened up on this difficulty. A, a much more difficult path, let me say. Let me know if I when I have time to read a donation, please. Go ahead right now. Alright, we have a $25 donation from the Elite.net. Tells Jimmy Todd to look down to reduce lag. Look down? Oh man, I don't know how to do that in this game. My control stick doesn't do the same thing in this game as it does in yours. But shout outs to theElite.net. Anybody who is interested in speedrunning, theElite.net has to be the best speedrunning. They have to have the best leaderboard for speedrunning, period. Period. That is the best leaderboard website that there exists for speedrunning. <clears throat> so shout outs to you guys. Thank you so much. And awesome donation. What was their what was their donation to? $25. There was no incentive for it. Let's kill the animals with it then. Yeah. The Elite is Goldeneye and Perfect Dark. Yeah. They also have some sub games too, like Time Splitters. Uh, there's a Pilot Wing 64 forum, a Mario Golf forum, and uh, just added this year was Wave Race 64. And I, uh, I'm gonna. Tr I keep the tradition of missing the last buoy going a little bit here. It doesn't really save any time there, but it's, you know, a habit. It's a tradition. Well, I gotta go, you guys. Thanks for... I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll sit and play the rest of it. So this is the first time that we see Twilight City. We see it three times. Um, there is another underneath the wall trick on this that I am too scared to show in a marathon because it is, like, literally still a 1 in 10. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't been able to get that. Well, okay. Uh, if, how about this? I'll look at my option, and if I see it, I'll go for it. But if I miss it, I'm blaming you guys. If I miss it, I'm blaming you. Okay, it's literally, uh, it's literally one of the hardest and least likely tricks in the game. But to be able to show it would be super hype. So I'll look at the option. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> I wasn't going to do that. I was not going to do that. I didn't even practice that. <laughs> no, no. Bill says do the one on Southern Island. That's way less likely than that. That's the hardest one. <laughs> Shoutouts to Fanta. You never thought that putting a advertisement in a game in 1997 would still be selling you, selling Fanta today, but it is. Also, I don't know if you guys know, but the virtual console version of this game, all of the there's no Fanta ads and there's no Kawasaki ads either. Uh, they took those out in place of Nintendo Wii and Nintendo DS ads. So I'm not buying us jet skis, sorry. So in case you haven't, in case you haven't picked up on it yet, hitting ramps is generally a slow way to go. You want to go around ramps in every case. I can't believe I showed you guys the Twilight City jump. This is that's that's uh, so risky that I I should shame on me for even trying. But hey, it worked. So it worked. Hey, that's your fault. Uh, the miss max power. Uh, totally not my fault. Uh, <laughs> I, you guys were talking to me, and there we go with another Fanta ad, of course. Uh, and of course, this is the this is on every difficulty. This is the last race of the difficulty. So uh, we're going to see another trophy cutscene after this. And uh, let me know if you notice any differences between the first trophy cutscene and this one. <laughs> the girl, the harder the difficulty gets, the least, the less likely that the girl's going to show up on the podium because, well, she's just not fast in this game. Of course, the people who made Wave Race must have just been horribly sexist. And they prefer fat people, apparently. <laughs> because... David Mariner, the fat man, is by far the fastest one in this game. There are two levels in Time Trial that use M. Jetter, the blue guy, the skinny blue guy. <laughs> but there are just no levels that the girl is the best on. It's just it's just a fact. I just, you know, it's it's a bummer. In 2015, fat people rule the world still. Welcome to America. Yeah. 
There's a uh, ridiculous shortcut on Southern Island that is still... I, I claim that it's like 1 in 50 success rate, but I was practicing it the other night, and I got it on my first two in a row tries, and I was like, what? Bill was like, 1 in 50 my. <laughs> yeah, so we were joking about that. So it looks like Lockwood is the girl, and he came in last this time, did not make it. Sorry, Lockwood. Sorry, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry that you're the girl also. I, I just, I ranked the tiers by the... No. You see my insane pace? Did you see me clutch the grenade launcher? I can make an announcement real quick. The $25 that the Elite gave to us pushed us over the $600 boundary for today. Yeah. That's amazing, you guys. So again, I don't think, did we see a trophy in that one? Was there a trophy there? There was no trophy. I'm pretty sure there was no trophy. At least if there was, he didn't pick it up. He did not pick up the trophy. By the way, count the seagulls. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you see it again, it's the same one. It's the same one, don't worry. Okay. Count the seagulls next time, okay? All right, back to my Japanese text reading skills, expert, uh, pick that, alternate color, and custom settings, let's go. There's a couple of seagulls. <coughs> sure. Seven seagulls we have, I guess. Yeah, sunny Beach expert. Uh, <coughs> there are a little... There's differences. There's actually an extra wave on the back side of the course, which is this side. And uh, there's some mines in the water here. There's, uh, But those aren't usually a problem. Let's knock on wood. The mines, of course, they don't explode, sadly. That would be really sweet. I would hit them on purpose if they exploded. Just to see, because you guys have to admit, there's nothing better than an N64 explosion. Nothing better. Huh? Michael Bay. I'm gonna uh, go out of bounds here really quick because it's a little bit safer. And actually, technically, that's not out of bounds. It's just like out of the, away from the finish line. Am I already on expert? This is flying by, you guys. This is sharp turn. And you know what? Let's just keep this tradition going. <clears throat> yeah, missing that last buoy. I'm okay with it too. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. That Fanta, hopefully that Fanta will last you guys the rest of the night. I only bought a 12 pack and I drank three of them, sorry. <laughs> Got a nine pack of Fanta. <clears throat> oh, okay, so uh, this level we actually got max power this time. That's, that's new. Okay, so on, on this, I know I like to miss this ramp, but that buoy, the yellow buoy on the left right now, it's too far away for me to really save any time by getting. So instead of doing my usual shortcut at the end of this, I have to do like a modified version of it. And uh, I'll show you at the end what I mean. Hopefully I don't forget, because uh, if I forget and I try to do the normal shortcut, I do this little thing called retiring, and that's a big no-no. I don't want to do the retire thing. Another thing uh, that we haven't really run into yet is like bad computer RNG, and that's like if the if the computer AI is a really big jerk at the beginning, and that's a big problem in the reverse levels especially. Ooh, that was close. I don't want to. All right. <clears throat> so here's the last uh, last miss that's normal here, and then I'll I'll take the shortcut at the end. Modified version, of course. I have to take it on the inside of this yellow buoy here, and then I'll just go out of bounds and miss the last one. So 111 is fine. And remember, I'm, I'm mashing twice as fast as it looks. <laughs> so this level in the American version is called Drake Lake, and it's called Drake Lake, but the announcer says Milky Lake? I don't know why. Milky Lake, and I'm talking about Milky Lake, and I'm missing Max Power. Yeah, the milk is real. Milk pipe. 
So unfortunately, uh, since I crashed earlier, I'm not gonna get the world record. I'm really sorry, you guys. And this is the toughest path through the the stumps as well. I'm uh, still thinking about if I'm gonna do that shortcut next difficulty or not, or next level. I practiced without it. <laughs> but this, so far, I'm 100% for things I didn't practice. Marathon luck. I, I've messed up on. I mess up on things I practice, and I don't mess up on things that I didn't practice. I am. It's, this is my. By the way, this is my very first marathon appearance, and uh, it's. It's a it's a dream of mine to one day play this game at a GDQ. I just don't like these buoys, so screw it. It's really dangerous to go through the stumps, so I just decide for marathon. Let's just. Oh, thank you guys, thank you guys. <coughs> this is only like. I don't get it, but okay. <laughs> Wait, Drake from like Drake and Josh? Uh, oh. I don't know any better. Okay, so the computer AI is keeping up with me enough that I'm not going to go for the shortcut on this because I get clipped on my way back inbounds a lot by those guys, and uh, it's just not worth going for in a marathon. But the world record for expert, there is no way to get it without the. Uh, underneath the wall shortcut that I showed you guys in the hard difficulty. I mean, it used to be possible, but now both me and Ilu have... Okay, we are one second apart on expert mode. I have a 1304, he has a 1305, and both of us have done the underneath the wall strategy. I call this thing the wall, but I don't know. It's not really a wall, it's more of a rolling door or something, or a lift door. The wall, I just call it the wall. <coughs> Yeah, I know, right? You're about eight so there's a lot more junk in the water on this difficulty. You probably noticed I have to... And even inside of the shortcut, there's a couple of boxes. So this is the shortcut. There's a box on the left and a box on the right that were not there on either of the other difficulties. And a 119 is great. 118 is better. I can, like, 115 or one, even 114 that level if I get under the wall, though. So that's a, it's about how much time it saves, like, four seconds or so. Another thing, this is called Port Blue, but in the Japanese version, she says... Okay. In the Japanese version, she says Port Pirates? I'm not really sure where that came from. How is Pirates a place? I thought Pirates were, like people or things. Let me know when I can read another donation, please. Let me get through this tunnel. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> no worries. We have a $2.20 donation from Scorpion. Squirp, yeah. This is all I had in my PayPal. Shippy is doing amazing. What you guys are doing is amazing, and put this towards killing the animals. The funny thing is, is that Amazing is a word that he uses a lot, and you said it just like him. P.S. Max Power Hype. Max Power Hype. Max Power Hype. So this is lap two. Uh, the, the, the ramp goes all the way over to the boat on this, so you have to hit the ramp. It's uh, Going around it, I've tested pretty much everything in this game, and that's slow. This level, I suspect, has an unfound shortcut, by the way. And it's to my right right now. I think that there is possibly some way to squeeze through. Like, there's a fence there. And then there's another fence, but I think... I, another thing I suspect is that the fence only has hit detection on one side, so coming back through the other side, you'd be fine. I have no emulator to test on. There's a, there is much testing that still needs to be done on this, but as you can tell, this is not a glitch game. There is... This is pure, like skill and consistency and there is no glitch that will really get you ahead so unlike a lot of speedrunning games where you get you have to practice certain glitches to be able to even go through the game on the route and something really weird happened on this uh, difficulty earlier today so uh, I need to go underneath that on all three laps I could go for the super risky thing again but I'm just not going to I'm sorry you guys 
Um, but there's a chance that you overshoot that and you run right into the wall from the ramp, like in midair and hit the wall. And that's happened to me a few times. I never knew how that works, but I was testing it last night and I figured out what not to do. So, ooh. so you want to like dive right away like that. Okay, that was really close because if I if I hold back too long, and you have to hold back to dive by the way. If I hold back too long, I get too much air and I hit the wall. And this level is an extremely dangerous level. Uh, there is multiple places where I can crash, especially right there almost. There's mines in the water. This turn is one of the most difficult in the game. So to be able to do it consistently like I'm doing right now is making me happy. Yeah. Not usually a thing worth clapping for, but anytime I don't crash is good. Cla clapping when I get max power. It's like, guys, I expect max power, but thank you. I was gonna... Oh, God. Okay. That part just... In, in practice, I was actually taking the ramp on the last lap so that I didn't have to risk going around it and hitting that wall, because I've hit that wall too many times, more than I want to admit. Okay, Dre... Oh, this is Glacier Coast. This is, a. Uh... Ilu, when I got my 115.730 world record on this level, Ilu himself, the world record holder on Drake Lake, said that it was the best record in the game. And that's, to me, pretty important because Drake Lake, to me, is the most, is the biggest record in the game. That's actually, it doesn't cost too much time to do that in Marathon, but uh, that's a really bad turn most of the time. You're going over ice and you cannot turn, so you have to have your angle lined up before you get onto the ice. We'll see if I can show you what I'm talking about without hitting the wall. I was trying to go a little bit too risky there. May I read another donation? Yes. Alright. Two dollars from Setsuka13. Good job, Shibby. Congrats on your first marathon, Fanta Hype. Fanta? So I'm missing that buoy there on purpose each lap, and uh, because I get max power right back pretty much. And hopefully I can show you guys. The the one lap world record is done doing this. Uh, this path. A little bit different. But it's also risky because now I have four misses and I can't miss one of these last ones. Miss again, and the run it would be technically over. I would keep playing, of course. But 120, 420 is my time. I'm not saying anything. I actually got downed twice on that level. That's uh, not a very successful Glacier Coast, but I did get to show the uh, fast way to do it. Alright, uh, Southern Island is quite different on Expert Mode than the other ones. Uh, this yellow buoy that I'm coming up to right now is red on Hard Mode, so you have to go further to the left. Uh, this is my strat going over those things, everybody else goes around them. <laughs> and the waves on this course and many courses act in a cycle. And I can usually tell where I am on the clock just based on how the waves go. I'm going to go ahead and miss that buoy on purpose on the next two laps because it's actually faster this way. And I never knew that until this year. Il Ilu actually found that. Uh, shout outs again to Ilu, dude. Definitely, he's the longest lasting uh, like top three wave race player of all time. He's been at the top for a very long time. Uh, each lap, the water level gets lower on this this level. In, in, in fact, we play a nine lap. We just started like this nine lap category, and uh, <laughs> laps one and two are regular, like high water, low wa low water, and then lowest water. And then you just have to play with super low water for the rest of the laps. So it's kind of a, a ridiculous pain. But it's good practice for the last lap because there's no real way to practice individual laps on this level without doing the whole course. So I mash until I hear the, the tick after this. 
And now we are in the second to last cutscene. Let me know what you can see differently. Remember to count the seagulls. Fanta hype. We get right to the butt shot. That butt patch, man. And by the way, I just noticed the Grape Fanta ad yesterday for the first time. Never noticed a Grape Fanta ad in this game until yesterday. And maybe it's just because I'm blind or something. Right? When you put a 2,000 hours into a game and you still haven't noticed something. So I'm actually going to pick up the trophy this time. I deserve it. <laughs> yeah. A shout out to uh, Setsuka and Squirp for those last donations. Thanks, you guys. These are awesome. A couple more seagulls this time. Can you count them? Something uh, in re <laughs> yeah. In reverse, they're all flying in reverse? No, they're not. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna troll you guys a little bit more before I finish. <laughs> All right, uh, so now we're gonna do reverse, and that's the. I mean, this is majorly different than the other ones, of course. You are a way race. All right, so reverse is like a combination of hard and expert, except you play on reverse. It doesn't have the setups that normal has. It has more or less like hard and expert. So waves are like expert. Obstacles. Dang it. <laughs> Obstacles are like a combination of expert and reverse, or expert and hard, I mean. And, but specifically on this difficulty, the computers are better. And they uh, will tend to get in the way, especially at the very beginning of levels. And this level's not usually too bad, but the next level, Sunny Sunset Bay, has been a huge problem lately. And there's other levels that are huge problems too. I'll try to point them out. In fact, on sunny on, on the next level, sunny sunset bay. If I make it past the computers without getting like totally screwed over by them, uh, you guys should clap for that because that almost never happens. <laughs> well, not yet. We're not even on that level yet. What are you doing? <laughs> it's a good luck clap. Right. Actually, that. That little tight squeeze that I just did through those two buoys was really hard to learn also at first. This uh, uh, this level, I, I want to mention that uh, Sunny Beach Reverse, it's the most recent uh, time trial world record in the game. And I got that only about the, about a, less than a month ago. NTSC. I don't have a second favorite wave race game. Three, two, I like NTSC U second best. And, uh, ooh, hey, we made it! Okay, the good luck clap was like just as good as that, sadly. <laughs> that, uh, it's kind of rare to make it unscathed like that. So here we go. Uh, I don't like going the original route, so I'm just going to drive through this area. And again, I don't really like to do that unless I can get max power really fast, and here we go. So, I have it back. That shortcut saves over a second each lap. It's not an option. It's necessary. Well, the last lap I don't go for that, obviously, because I just go to the finish line. I was also hitting that last yellow buoy a lot in practice. I'm glad I didn't do that this time. Alright, and we're gonna just drive to the finish line. That's uh, SBR, or SBAR, I guess. I call, I'm, excuse me, that Fanta burp. We, uh, <laughs> well, I, I, I refer to the levels as their acronyms, like this is DLR. I guess I could call it MLR too, Milky Lake Rivers. But, eh. So, <clears throat> computer RNG in this level is really bad, so I just avoid them altogether at the beginning. Screw you guys. You guys can have your party back there. I don't want a party. Eh, I don't like that buoy either. That one makes this part really hard. So, 
I, I'm going to miss the maximum allowed buoys in this level in the sake of, or in the name of safety and uh, ease. I'll make this level as easy as I can for myself and still get a good time. This is actually the route that the old world record was on. And uh, Hayate, one of the Wave Race players that I haven't really mentioned much today, he discovered a faster way to do this level that still involves missing buoys, but it's really risky and it's difficult to do. But I, with his route, I got a 111.9, the only 111 that's been accomplished. And with this route, it's a, it's like a 113 is what I can get. So hopefully I get a 113. One chance left. I'm about 16 seconds ahead. Well, not ahead of the people that I'm racing against, but okay. So, 114. That's a little bit slow. I think I did knock into a buoy or two, so that's probably where I lost some time. Bumping into buoys, obviously, is uh, not good. So, uh, in time trial, I... Okay, I lied earlier. I said Marine Fortress was the biggest world record in the game. Marine Fortress Reverse is bigger by more than double. I, I have a 111, and second place is 115. And the reason is because I went for that shortcut that I showed you on the reverse side, and it's like impossible to get. It's seriously, I'll sit here and try it for an hour, and I'll only get it like once or twice. So it's just not viable in an RTA run especially. But I can still get a 115 with David Mariner here doing it like this, and... Trust me, every time I miss and go out of bounds, I've tested this. Don't worry, it's faster. Testing is a big part of this game because who else plays it? I have to play it, so <laughs> I have to figure out what's fast because I'm all alone sometimes, I feel like. Oh, I do I do want to mention, uh, we have a new leaderboard website for this game also. Um, it's located at uh, speedrun.com backslash WR64. So WR64, of course, the acronym for Wave Race 64. Not, not too hard to remember. You don't even need to write it down. You can probably remember all that. So go and visit the site. I'm still updating some of the times that I'm collecting from, uh, like, cyberscore.net and some other... or, or cyberscore.co.uk and some other websites that, that I've found people submitting wave race times on and such and I'm porting everything I can find onto speedrun.com so anybody who's interested in this there are if you think you're bad you should see some of the times on there you should be encouraged to submit your own times it would definitely be an awesome thing to see some more people pick up this game yeah same with every game on the schedule but sadly this game for such a good speedrunning game it has a very very small community very competitive, but we are all over the world. Illudude is from Sweden. Lockwood is, uh, ooh. Lockwood's in, uh, Florida, I believe. I'm up here in Michigan. Isis Smith is, and Illudude are Sweden both, and FHR, or Hayate, he calls himself now, changed his name. He is from Japan. We also have a new guy from Japan who... Yeah, this turns hard. We also have a new guy in Japan who posted a time that he claims was accomplished 15 years ago and it would have been a world record until this year had anyone known about it so that pretty insane that even that long ago people were pretty good at the game this level is probably one of the hardest in the whole run and uh, because of that turn but I actually and this turn coming up right here this one is a blind turn with a buoy so close all right so Actually, you know what? That went better than it did in practice. Yeah. Here's a cheers. Fanta cheers. I'm having a, uh, I'm having a microphone wardrobe malfunction. Okay, I think we're okay. Twilight City Reverse. This is a level that I, the computer players can also be a troll in. But it, I'm going to go ahead and take their route because... Uh, I need it to be safe. I need it to ensure that the run's going to be like doable later. 
So I'm not going to miss any buoys on the first lap, but I will get all the way to four misses again on this course. And this course has a high risk of retire because of this section right here. And so when I come up to that on my last lap, I have already gotten four misses. So if I miss, if I hit one of those mines or the ramp, I'm very likely to miss that buoy and retire altogether. Do we have time for another donation? Yeah, go ahead with that donation. We have a $5 donation from Dwayne from GoldenEye64. Yeah. Thank you very much for your donation. Um, hey, out of curiosity, what's our viewer count right now? Wow, you guys, 74. Really? Wow. Yeah, Wave Race brings all the ladies. I'm sure they're all girls out there. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, this is the part I'm talking about. Okay, we're good. We're good. I, I'm, I'm not very likely to miss from here, but... There is one part up here that I got trolled on really bad in a practice run, like right here. There was a computer player that was like crashed and I couldn't get around him. <laughs> But, but that went well. That went fine. So we are... I mean, I hate to admit it because I'm having so much fun playing, but we are already on the last two levels. Oh, no, sad. Do it again. Do it again upside down. <laughs> That's something I cannot do. So I had to pretty much come up with my own route entirely on this level because I don't have videos to watch or anything like that. Uh, so I figured that doing that at the beginning, missing that buoy, coming around here and not bonking into that hopefully is fast and uh, ended up being right after testing a bunch of different routes on this. One thing that's hard about testing things is that you have to be really consistent. If you want to figure out what's faster, you have to basically go as fast as possible with each different route. You're about five ahead. And, I mean, not to jinx it, because some things have gone wrong on this level, but uh, Glacier Coast Expert is actually one of the hardest levels in the game. Glacier Coast Reverse? One of the easiest levels in the run, somehow. I don't know why. Like, it's just way easier to do this than on Expert mode. Okay, that was okay. Not great, but okay. Um, also, I just want to point out, this is by far the most people I have ever played Wave Race for. I think my, my record before this was like 30. Oh. We have a donation incentive to uh, fight. I will fight Bill right here on camera if we if we get a hundred dollars before I finish this level. <laughs> no, we're not actually gonna fight. It would be unfair for him. I just don't want to. <laughs> Hillary is watching. His wife's watching, so better keep it clean. There's that whale again telling me, "Hey, you've gotten first place on every race so far." I remember when I I remember when I couldn't do that. The whale is uh, non-existent, so no, he's just there in visual, in the visual realm. But you go right through him. It's not very likely to touch him because he's like ahead of you. But I have actually like touched him on a different difficulty after I crashed because he like hangs around for a little bit. And uh, yeah, you just go right through him. He's a he's he is a hallucination. He's not really there. You just think he's there because of the high that you get from playing Wave Race. Yeah, and drinking so much Fanta, it's probably not good for you. Yep, so that's the last time we'll see the whales. Goodbye, whales. I was really, okay, I was really mad at a run the other day. And I said, uh, my, my girlfriend was watching me play, and uh, I had just crashed. And I drive past the whales, and I... Like, audibly, pretty loud, I say, F you, whale, I don't want to see you right now. And she just busted out laughing at me. I didn't even realize I had said it. 
Okay, and timer ready? Time. Sorry. All right, not bad. Not bad. Just uh, The world record, the world record that I got last night on that is 51.58. Uh, I don't have video proof of that one, but I do have a 51.59. It's on my YouTube. You can check that out and all my other videos out on YouTube. It's a uh, my, my YouTube name is Shibby Pod, of course. And uh, yeah, this has this has been great. If you're more interested in Wave Race, like I said, check out our leaderboard. It has all of our videos and everything on it. It's a uh, speedrun.com backslash wr64. And uh, hit up my Twitch, uh, twitch.tv backslash shibbypod. And while you're at it, while you're watching this, make a donation to the Wounded Warrior Project. It's a good cause. It's helping the lives of tons of tons of our, uh, our well, our warriors, right? Yeah. Our, our military, our, our wounded vets. Yeah. So thanks so much for tuning in for Wave Race. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, go buy some Fanta. Help yourself out. It, it, that Fanta. Can't live without it. Thanks, guys. All right. What a great run, man. What a great run. Coming up, we actually have a bonus fighting match. I believe tonight is Street Fighter. So we're going to play a bunch of Street Fighter games. And we got our good buddy MK Stunt Coyote playing against his dad tonight. You do not want to miss that. Also, big shout-outs to Stunt Coyote's family for hosting this event. Big, big shout-out to all of them. i got to bring up some house music now. Give me a second on that. There we go. Alrighty. We are the speed running at...